One thing changes us. One thing. And that's who we perceive ourselves to be. So I don't care if you have to play mind tricks with yourself about where you came from, or what genetics you're born with, or what skills you actually have. But it's all about the culture that's set within. See, it's January 1st and you've got these resolutions, right? Well, let's break down that word. What are you trying to resolve? What's in conflict? Well, what's in conflict is who you are right now is not who you want to be or who you need to be for that matter. See, there's a gap and you have to understand that gap and you need to close it. How do you close it? Well, first, you make a decision. You decide right here, right now, that you're no longer going to keep up with this set of rituals that you've created for yourself. And you're not going to call it a set of rituals. No, 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 no. You know it as sleeping nine and a half hours, as hitting the snooze button three times before you wake up, as checking Facebook every time you hit your computer. But make no mistake about it. If you're doing it, every single day, then it is a culture. It's a routine that you've set for yourself. And it's about creating a new tone. It's about creating a new standard. It's about creating a new way of life. So you decide to make a new pattern and you take action with it and you stay committed to it. Because you're gonna get pumped up, you're gonna get excited, you're gonna be energetic to write down those resolutions or to make goals, to make that initial decision. But what's left after that energy fades, and I promise you it will fade, what's left is you. The measure of the man, the measure of the woman. Beyond the smoke, behind the mirrors, what's left is you, your effort. When the energy fades, do you stay true to your word? Because your word is your bond. You made a promise. Are you going to stick to that pact? Decision, action, and commitment. That's what forms a new identity. Because that's the one thing that changes us. See, politics aside, Marcus Luttrell made up in his mind that he wasn't going to die on that mountaintop. He knew in his heart of hearts that he wasn't going to go out that way. That's how you can get through broken bones. That's how Michael Jordan is able to have what most people would call a career game with the flu. That's how Michael Phelps wins his seventh medal by one one hundredth of a second. He's getting dominated the entire race. His hands are all the way back just before the other guy is going to touch the wall. And before you can blink, he's able to touch the wall. That's not motivation. That's not passion. That's not skill. That's not even desire. That's not wanting it more than the other person. That's identifying with something so deep. That's something resonating inside you that says, I do not lose. This is who I am. And there is no alternative. This is how it's going to be. And that's when you change long term. So you've got weak parts and you've got strong parts. It's about which one you're going to reinforce. See, Kobe Bryant, he knew he had to divide it. He had to separate his personal struggles from when he stepped on the court. That's why he created the Black Mamba. You've got weak parts and you've got strong parts that you've got to be able to flip the switch and know when the ruthless competitive that killer instinct is going to come out this new identity that you form for yourself who do you see yourself as who do you really see yourself as because when that changes then the mechanics change